Hello, my name is Terry Irwin, and I'm a professor in the School of Design at Carnegie Mellon University and the director of the Transition Design Institute there. This presentation is an overview of a six month research project to understand the perspectives and concerns of stakeholders connected to the problem of a lack of funding for minority entrepreneurs in the US and the UK. This research was commissioned by the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center and was carried out by the Transition Design Institute at Carnegie Mellon, who are one of 10 partners researching the many facets of this complex wicked problem. This video describes the fourth of six data gathering steps that comprise the research co-creating future visions in which the problem of a lack of funding for minority entrepreneurs has been resolved. In this step, stakeholders jumped from the distant past to the distant future to imagine how problem resolution might have changed their everyday lives for the better. This co-visioning exercise produces a map that shows how different stakeholder groups feel about the future identifies areas in which they agree and captures their ideas about solutions and tangible actions for the present. The data gathered from our four stakeholder groups resulted in these six systems maps. And this video reports on the future visions map highlighted in the blue box and the insights that it produced. This step can be found on the far right side of the Miro board with the systems map at the top and the analysis situated directly below it. In the fourth step of data gathering, stakeholder teams told us what the long-term future would be like for their group if the problem of a lack of funding for minority entrepreneurs were resolved. They told us what would be possible that isn't possible now and how their everyday lives might have changed for the better. Groups envisioned a future at five different systems levels the household, the neighborhood, the city, the region or state, and the nation and the planet. This challenged participants to think systemically about how the problem manifests at the different levels of everyday life and imagine holistic lifestyle-based alternatives. The data gathered in this co-visioning step enables researchers to see where different stakeholder groups agree and disagree about the long-term future, which can in turn inform additional targeted research as well as systemic solutions. Like the problem map, responses from all four stakeholder groups were aggregated to form this vision map of all responses from all groups at the six different levels of scale. <clears throat> The research team again formulated high level vision themes in the solid color boxes with white type around which stakeholder responses are clustered in the white boxes and toned boxes. The same coding has been used to indicate nationality and stakeholder group for each response. The analysis board directly below the system map identifies the vision themes on which all four stakeholder groups agreed, <clears throat> and also analyzes three narrative themes that emerged out of the visioning exercise. Representative stakeholder responses have once again been placed alongside the vision team, the vision themes developed by the research team. And taken together, the themes that are shared by all four stakeholder groups form a compelling future-based narrative that touches on every aspect of stakeholders' lives, not just entrepreneurship. This underscores, we think, the potential for wicked problem resolution to transform entire systems, organizations, and communities alike. These future narratives help bridge stakeholder divides and are powerful motivators to action that can inform solutions in the present. These blue boxes show how different vision themes emerged and extended up systems levels, manifesting in different ways at different levels of scale. Here we see a theme related to the strength of community and the sharing of resources emerging at the household, neighborhood, and city levels. 
And it's important to remember that each of these boxes represents an entire repository of different stakeholder ideas about the future within that category. And many of these can, can form the basis for solutions in the present. Here we see a second theme related to infrastructural access and security for everyone in highly diverse neighborhoods. At the state, national, and planetary levels, we see visions connected to equity and diversity that extend beyond the problem of entrepreneurship to form a vision of equitable lifestyles for all. And in this way, wicked problems often serve as windows into larger systems that need to transform and transition. Further analysis revealed three common themes within stakeholder visions. One, quality of life narratives in which funding for minorities has catalyzed positive change for entire communities. Two, entrepreneurial narratives which describe a bright and equitable future for minority entrepreneurs. And three, solutions-based narratives which articulate specific solutions that could become the basis for projects in the present. Quality of life narrative narratives touched on how problem resolution would positively impact areas such as access to quality education, community welfare, diversity and equity, and care and well-being of both people and planet. And this underscores the way in which addressing a single complex problem is a leverage point for positive change throughout the larger system. The entrepreneurial narrative touched directly on the resolution of the problem of a lack of funding for minority entrepreneurs by focusing on issues related to new mindsets and beliefs, minority communities' ability to invest in themselves, and infrastructure that supports entrepreneurship and equity for everyone. The solutions-based visions are incredibly useful because they can be leveraged to create targeted, present-day solutions that are likely to have broad stakeholder support. Solution-oriented visions included things like entrepreneurship being introduced at primary and secondary school levels, twinning communities around the world to collaborate and share knowledge, cities running their own investment funds with citizens directing its distribution, and an ethic, ethnic diversity code being introduced at the national level. A glimpse at a few of the stakeholder responses show that a surprisingly coherent and compelling narrative emerged that has the potential to both motivate action and inform solutions in the present. And in a moment, I'll show you the speculative narratives that the research team formulated from these stakeholder responses. We've also included the original data sort from this exercise, which will provide users who want it with the opportunity to dive deeper into the actual data. And many topics like the issue of multi-generational wealth can deepen our understanding of the problem, its negative effects, and the way in which its resolution can create positive systems level, and in this case, generational level change. This concludes the fifth video in this research series. The next research step asks four stakeholder groups to think rigorously and creatively about a decades long transition from the problematic present to their desired long term future. They thought about what present day things they wanted to leave behind, as well as what they wanted to take with them on that decades long journey. The resulting map shows where stakeholders agree and disagree about what is and isn't working in the present, but also contains within it, again, a wealth of solution ideas. Please access video number six in this series called